so because i know you miss me sitting down and giving my fearless thoughts about issues i know you miss me i know i know some of you subscribe to this channel because i'm very opinionated and i'm very bold in bearing my mind i know that part okay but then for some time now i have been traveling a lot and doing more of my life showing you guys my imperfect life sharing my family as a single mom living alone in another country or by herself with her kids so i have been doing a lot of that and i know the sit down videos you know they have not been coming like they used to but then of course because this channel is not focused on just one aspect of my life it is all about everything around the brand called lily ogini if you are new here hi hello my name is lillian <laughs> okay but for those of you my ogs thank you for keeping me busy for thank you so much for always coming back thank you for giving me a job okay you are my boss so welcome to this one and guys it has been um a bit of more travel 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 but before we go proper into sharing my experiences around ghana my travel experiences around ghana let me give a big shout out to Igu Eye Ango for such an amazing trip that they gave me the last time. An all expense paid trip to the northern part of Ghana by Igu Eye Ango. So guys, please kindly check them out. Okay, it's a YouTube channel that is coming with a lot of things, you know, for you guys. So please go there, subscribe, tell them that Lily sent you. Let them know. I'm very reflection that you guys love me a lot because I already brought that yeah I'm this I'm that a lot of people love me so please go there and redeem me all right I'm gonna leave the link to their channel at the description box and also at the comment section please guys support brands that are supporting me they are keeping me in the business traveling and creating content is not a joke it's very very expensive sometimes i wonder how wodemaya and tayo i know and the rest are doing it is i don't know how they are doing it this thing is expensive just to travel within ghana here where you don't need uh, flights you know to go where you don't need visa you don't need hotels like five star hotels you don't need the best and the best basically traveling within the country it is expensive most of the time uh especially with the small creatives you know when you come out here soliciting for fun you tend to look off like <laughs> you know but then sometimes we do it i swear sometimes we do it so but then thank you ego i Ango, for sponsoring my last trip to the northern part of ghana so guys please okay go and support them for those of you that already subscribed there because of me thank you so much stay tuned a lot is coming on that channel they're going to show you ghana like never before okay things are working out you know they are putting everything in place and very soon it's going to be like boo, explode out there you guys be so proud that you have a channel like that okay guys so i have been traveling a lot recently especially the past um 10 months or nine months let's say since the time i started the quill trip to this time is about 10 months since then and i have been traveling a lot around the country ghana and my experiences have never been similar to the other i've had my unique experiences all the places i've been and that is what i want to share with you if you are a foreigner you don't want to miss this video so for me being a foreigner if you're also someone like if you're also someone like me traveling you know around the country please make sure that um you watch this video so you can learn some things okay every part of ghana you go to is unique so there are things i have discovered on my last trip to the north is completely different from what i know here like what i know here in this part of ghana is different from what goes on there at the north like my first experience to the north was really bad i mean from here to wa was a different ball game altogether like we 
I got assaulted by a soldier guy who broke my nail. You know, if it's before, I would have come here and say, oh, Ghanaian did this to me. But now I have traveled around other regions. I never had such experience. So I can't come back here and sit down and say, Ghanaians did this to me. I would only say I had this experience on my way to Wa. And I wouldn't say Wala people did that to me because on getting to Wa, I discovered that the people are, they are too sweet. I swear down, they are too nice, especially the women. Everybody is just so sweet to you. Thing I want to tell you, if you are traveling, please go with your documents. If you're going to trip very close to borders like a flower border, um, the Burkina Faso border, which is at Boligatanga and the rest, or you're going to the what is this um Ivory Coast borders you know these trips to far 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 part of ghana please make sure that you go with your identification cards like your international passport for foreigners also if you're ghanaian don't forget to do so for me i didn't i couldn't get that to go with at the time i went on that trip I think I should have, you know, I remembered on my way going, I remembered I was supposed to go with a means of identification, but I was already far gone and I had a lot. Uh, make sure that you go with your international passport. I almost got arrested. It's just that, uh, you see me, you see your mouth, your mouth is so powerful. You can use it to save yourself sometimes and you can use it to kill yourself. So I made up my mind to be as honest as possible, of course. I'm a Nigerian, but yes, yeah, so. So I was gonna be honest about that. So on getting to the immigration point, now before I made that trip, there were no, I tried to do my research, like to see road trips, what to expect if you're traveling to Wa, you get it. The only thing I saw was things happening around Wa, but I didn't get to see the events you know happening on your way to work so but for me it wasn't a very pleasant experience all right i wouldn't say the people are hostile because the soldier guy was so hostile and then there was another passenger who had been calling us names like prostitute just hit on us for absolute nothing and this guy you know it was a very bad experience for us going but on getting there the people are extremely sweet especially the ruler area and over there people don't do this uh, where are you from nigeria ah nigeria this thing that happened in accra here sometimes where people just withdraw from you and then move away and look at you and they are shocked to see you because they are in nigeria and that is not going on there at some parts of Ghana. When you tell them you are in Nigeria, it's nothing. It's okay. It's okay. They see you like, it's okay. Yes. Yeah. You are in Nigeria. Oh, wow. Some people will be like, oh, wow, Nigerian. All the way you came here, you are welcome, sister. You're welcome. So, like, I get all of that. So, the travel experience, the travel experiences have been very unique, different, fun, not so fun, of course. We shouldn't expect the good, good, good in life. Because even me sometimes, I used to do things you don't like, right? Yeah, so, but then it doesn't change anything. I'm still a sweet little innocent lily. <laughs> okay, so if you're traveling around the border towns, please make sure you go with your means of identification. For me, what saved me that day was that I had something on my phone and the immigration officer insisted on seeing that and then he saw that and then on my way coming back the same spot but different people i was held again this time the only thing they did different was that they searched me immediately i told them i'm a nigerian i was asked to be searched by the female officer to search me tolerate so as a nigerian maybe you have some bomb on you you know that is totally okay. I wouldn't be sitting here and saying, oh, I was treated unfairly because I see in my country too, I am from the part of Nigeria that has, that is not too far away from the Nigerian Cameroonian border. So I know the experiences that most Cameroonians go through coming to Nigeria through that route, you know. So I didn't take it personal when that happened to me because see, sometimes these immigration officers in Nigeria, they will drop the Cameroonians and send them back. Some will exhort them, depend who you meet on duty. The ones that have great conscience will make sure that they verify you. 
if you don't have means of identification, which is not a good thing. If you do not have it, they make sure they verify why you are here. And when they are convinced, they will let you go. So them searching me for being a Nigerian was not something that I took personal, though my Ghanaian friend didn't like the fact that they did that to me, Sauda of Iguai. So she felt like, okay, she's Ghanaian, she forgot her means of identification. I am Nigerian, and now why are they searching me and they didn't search her? So she almost got into trouble with them for that question. Kudos to you, girl. Okay, thank you for standing up, but I am not offended. Okay, so, but just have these things in mind. So before we got to this other checking point where I was searched, there was another immigration point where a Nigerian guy who tried to lie about his identity, about his identity was taken down and, you know, I don't know what went on there, okay? But we thank God. Sometimes you begin to wonder, are the immigration officers really representing us as, you know, individual, you know, are they representing us? So, but then, so to avoid any embarrassment, any delays, and sometimes you may not be so lucky to meet an officer that is ready to listen to you, that is willing to believe you, that is, that is willing to listen to your explanation. You may meet someone that wakes up at the other wrong corner of the bed and they're going to transfer aggression on you. They are angry at job, so they're going to transfer all that on you. So be careful. So always go with your identification means, okay? For me, I didn't have it that day, and it was no fun, but I was very confident. They wanted to know why I went there. They wanted to see what's in my back. I showed them. Uh, all right, I have a YouTube channel that I can easily show someone, but it's not enough, okay? So please always travel with your means of identification. Apart from the immigration officers, you know, wanting to know who you are, you may need it. Should anything go wrong, you may need it. No one comes to this world to live forever. So that is it for the note. And on getting there, the people are extremely sweet, okay? They don't discriminate. They don't look at you in a way like because you're a Nigerian. I think what people in Accra here and other parts of Ghana know us for, over there, they don't know us for that. And great enough, some of the communities I went, I met some Igbo guys that are legitimately working they're doing businesses. So when you tell people you're yeah, Nigerian, it's nothing. It's just like, okay, yeah. So what should I do for you? What should I do about that? You're just nothing to them but their own brother and sister. But then coming back to this part of Ghana, you may not experience all these um, checking point things like that. You may not experience in this part of this part of Ghana, like this Accra and the southern part of Ghana. It's not common to see like what the soldier guy did to me, like him having to snatch my phone and break my nail, threatening my life. You may not see that all the time, this part of Ghana. So, but then when you go to other parts, open your heart because anything can happen. For me, I was, my heart was open and I didn't take it personal. I just saw him as a bad guy, that's all, who is too accepts with his job and who feels like he has all the power in the world to do whatever he likes because he actually bragged that he can do anything he likes he's a soldier nothing can happen to him that is his own personality so i wouldn't be judging everyone based on that and then another thing is like the food that part like the foods they eat then so you may not easily uh find a watch spot you know where you want so but you'll be seeing a lot of the cocoa a lot of the um, tozafi a lot of the um, it's not what you will find like this a lot of the yam fufu pounded yam that is what you may be finding around some of these communities we go and then back to the south where you can find everything including cocoa you know so this is the country capital so if you want to travel, don't always expect to see the Ghana you are seeing in Accra in other parts of the country, okay? That is my only advice. So please do your finding. The people are nice. Always be nice. Trust me, no matter how hard someone is, I think when you show them you are a good, simple person, they are going to embrace you. They're going to love you back. No matter how the person is, the person is going to like you back, all right? It's going to make it a lot easy for you. So another experience that I've had is where, 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 where? 
Okay, all of these places I've been to, the thing they have in common is this fact that the electricity, electricity is very, very stable. So you can get that. The only part of Ghana that I have been to, and I question the electricity stability in that place, where the electricity, the only part of Ghana I've been to where the electricity to me was like, ah, what's going on? Not be Ghana, be this, was a place called Somania here at the eastern part of Ghana. So where I went and um, the light sometimes goes off all day. People use their generators and I was like, oh, am I in Nigeria? Oh my gosh, who brought me here? Who brought me to Nigeria? But in the evening, once it's six o'clock or seven o'clock, the light comes back and they, they all enjoy. So I wanted to know why and the person opened up to me and it's totally, totally understandable. So, but as for every other part, as for every other part of Ghana I've been to, they all have a lot of similarities. Okay, but please open your hearts and always go with your ID card. So I want to ask you a question. Where next should we go to guys? Where next should we go? Comment down below. If you have a place I should go to comment down below, please guys. Learn to support me when I put my mom on number, please. Learn to support me. Even if someone is sponsoring my trip to a place, I should be able to buy pure water for myself. Hmm? Come on. I should be able to pick my own money and buy pure water. All right? So, thank you guys for watching this video. I will see you in my next one. Ciao.